The examiners were on demon mode when they asked this GCSE question. Solve the simultaneous equation for these two, mate. All right, let's take a look. Hopefully, it's not as bad as it might seem at first, isn't it? So we've got this first equation and this second equation. Now, the whole purpose of, the, of this question is when we solve simultaneous equations is we have a nice linear equation x of y and another nice equation x of y and then we just use the elimination to eliminate one of them and solve, isn't it? So, we just need to rewrite this so that we have something like that. Now what you notice, all of these numbers, this is the base numbers, they're all powers of 3. 3 is just 3 to the power of 1, nothing happens there. 9 is 3 squared. 243, or 81, is 3 to the power of 4. So this is 3 to the power of 5. 81 times 3 gives you this, okay? And this is also a calculated paper as well, if you guys wanted to experiment with your calculator. So 3 to the power of x times 9, which is 3 squared to the power of y minus 1, is 3 to the power of 5. Now, what happens when you have a number raised to a power raised to another power? Well, you just multiply the powers. You're doing two lots of y minus 1. Now, here there's two terms. You have to be careful here. You just need to expand the bracket. So you've got 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 2y minus 2 is 3 to the power of 5. Now, what happens when you multiply two numbers with the same base? You add the powers. So you're going to have 3 to the power of x plus 2y minus 2 is 3 to the power of 5. Aha, uh -huh. now, the bases are the same on both sides. It must mean that the powers are the same, okay? So it must mean that if these two sides are the same, the powers are the same, okay? So x plus 2y minus 2 is 5. And we just add the 2 over. Here is our first actual equation that we're going to be solving with. So we've got minus 2, we add it over, we get 7. Okay? We just need to do the exact same thing on the second equation. Now it's clear that for that, everything can be written as base 2. 8 here is 2. So 8 is 2 cubed. Uh, don't want to stretch too high there, mate. And we have just 2 to the power of y minus half. Nothing happens there. Equals. Here, that's another power 2. Nothing happens there. 2 to the power of 2x plus 1. 2 to the power of 2x plus 1. Divided by. But now, we've got quattro, which is 2 squared. Times. Because remember, 4 root 2 is 4 times root 2. Root 2. Root root is 2 to the power of a half. Okay, that's our index rules. So 2 to the power of a half. All right, let's start cleaning things up. When we multiply two numbers with the same base, we add the powers. So we get 2 to the power of 3 plus y minus half. So we kind of did that concept here already. You can use your calculator if you want, but 3 minus a half is uh, 2.5, which is 5 over 2. So we have y plus 5 over 2 is... Here I'm just going to leave the numerator as is because I'm going to simplify the denominator. Here again, we're adding the powers. 2 plus half, 2.5, which is 5 over 2. So here we have 2 to the power of 5 over 2. But now, we are dividing two numbers with the same base. So we subtract the powers. So we're going to be left with 2 to the power of y plus 5 over 2. Is 2 to the power of, so we have 2x plus 1 minus 5 over 2. 2x plus 1 minus 5 over 2. Which we can simplify. Yeah, you're, you're going to get minus 1.5, which is minus 3 over 2. I'm just going to write that here with our whole new line. So you have minus 3 over 2. And just like the other one, where we had the base 3s the same, here we have the base 2s the same, so the powers are the same. So we have y plus 5 over 2 is 2x minus 3 over 2. Now this obviously looks horrible, right? So how can we clean this up? Well, one thing I would do, especially if it was non-calc, this is obviously calc, you could just add that over and move things around. 
I'm not using my calculator at the moment. I would double everything to just get rid of denominators. I think it's, even if it is a calculator question, I think it's good for you guys to learn different methods just in case it came up in a non-calculator paper. So it's 2y, the twos here cancel, plus five is two times two x is four x. And then here that cancels minus uh, three. Okay, so this would have simplified nicely. It's just I'm pretending, well, I'm trying not to use a calculator. Now, we want to put the numbers on one side and all the letters on the other side. Now, you could move the 5 here. I think bringing the 3 over here is better to keep the number positive. So, I'm going to add 3 here, which makes this 8. Then we have 4x. And the positive 2y, we're going to move it to the other side, is minus 2y. Which means I can divide through by 2. So, I get this moving these around would have given you that uh, as well. So, you have 4 is 2x minus y. What do we have here? We had x plus 2y is 7. 7 is x plus 2y. Okay, actually, do you know what? For that reason, if I kept this one, which wasn't simplified, I would have had the 2y's being the same. I actually prefer that. Because then solving it is actually just much simpler. Because I would have to scale one of them anyway. So let's write that one again. 7 is x plus 2y. Now the 2y's are the same, what do we need to do? When the y's are the same but one's positive, one's negative, we need to add them. Because minus 2 plus 2y cancels, isn't it? So we're left with 8 plus 7 which is 15 is 5x. What does that mean? x is? 5 times a number is 15, 5 times 3 is 15. Let me just sub into one of the equations. I'm going to sub into this. We have 7 is x, which is 3, plus 2y. So when you take a number, you times it by 2, then add 3, you get 7. y is obviously 2. You can minus the 3 over, you'd get 2y is 4. 2 times the number is 4. That number, y, is 2. And that is a beautiful solution, right, for five cheeky marks. So guys, if you learned something today, hit that like button, subscribe for more content, maybe drop a comment on how you might have solved this. Uh, and if you're interested in my maths courses, there is a link in the description. And I've get, got a Reddit page called Lungang, made just for you guys to submit questions and discuss all things maths. I'll see you guys in the next video. Nice.